In the first part of this video, you should already know that pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms. So how are pathogens spread? They can spread in many ways, by direct contact, by water, or by air. Different pathogens are spread by different mechanisms. So, malaria is transmitted by mosquitoes, whereas cholera is a waterborne disease. HIV is transmitted through bodily fluids, and athlete's foot is transmitted by direct contact. How can transmission be reduced or prevented? Depending upon which disease you are trying to reduce transmission for, depends upon which method you need to engage. Simple hygiene measures can reduce or prevent the spread of many diseases, including flu and the common cold. Make sure you wash your hands properly, keep common surfaces clean, and use a tissue to sneeze into. Did you know there is a best way to wash your hands? Hands washed thoroughly with soap have significantly reduced numbers of bacteria. Over 350,000 people die every year from food poisoning, which can be prevented by washing hands and utensils properly with clean water and cooking foods to a safe temperature to kill the bacterial pathogens. To reduce or prevent cholera and other diarrheal causing pathogens, communities need access to safe drinking water adequate sanitation so that dirty water is not exposed and basic hygiene needs such as washing hands properly, boiling water properly and keeping surfaces clean. Malaria and yellow fever both have mosquitoes as a vector and Lyme disease uses ticks. A vector is an organism that has an active role in transmitting pathogens from one host to another to reduce or prevent infection from vector-borne diseases. The vectors need to be controlled or humans need to protect themselves against the vector, such as wearing mosquito repellent and wearing long sleeve clothing. Insecticide and spraying techniques can be used to reduce the population of the vectors, but this is trickier and more expensive. If a disease is highly contagious, such as rabies, people may need to be isolated to prevent the infection spreading to others. Vaccinations are also an option for preventing and reducing pathogens. Vaccinations involve putting a small amount of inactive or dead pathogens into the body, which stimulates the body to produce antibodies against a specific pathogen. This enables the body to be prepared to attack or destroy the pathogen if they are infected in the future. You can learn more about vaccinations in our What Are Vaccinations video. So from this video, you should know that pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms and can be a bacteria, virus, fungi, or protist. They are transmitted in many different ways, and depending upon their mode of transmission, determines how they can be controlled.